That's Crux 17 here with another Guild Wars 2 jumping puzzle, and uh, this one is Mad King's Clock Tower. It's part of the uh, Halloween kind of seasonal event that's going on in Guild Wars 2 this week. Um, this is a pretty difficult jumping puzzle. Um, probably the most difficult one I've done so far. It took me a while, um, basically because you're kind of on a time limit, and the whole thing is moving while you're jumping. Which, the moving doesn't really get you as much as the time limit where, like, there's this acid coming up from underneath you. And if you don't move fast enough, you will get killed. And it is, uh, it's pretty fun. And also the other hard, hard part about the jumping puzzle is all these people. Um, kind of the timer to get in is based on how many people were there. The more people show up, the quicker you'll get into the jumping puzzle. But, uh... The more people there are, the uh, harder it is because you just get crowded, and especially if you have lots of big characters like Char and Norn, um, it can get hard to see. But uh, yeah, as you see, you come into the uh, kind of the Mad King's realm through a portal in one of the human territories in Krita. Um, there will be some portals littered on the map. You'll see them as uh, pumpkin icons, and you go through there and you talk to this guy, and he'll port you to the clock tower and that's where you get from here and this is where it all gets fun uh as you can see this is a interesting jumping puzzle if you're not really good at controlling your character with the mouse keyboard and really timing your jumps and stuff um this is going to be difficult for you um once you kind of figure it out it's not that bad but it seems a little daunting at first and I was talking to people who had been trying it for like five hours straight and as you can see right there the acid does come up pretty quick and get you so uh yeah basically once you fall on that it ports you right back out here and you wait for everyone else to fail and finish and then you get going again you know uh, this is my second attempt We'll say it is a pretty fun jumping puzzle. I really enjoy it. Um, this is the only one I've done from the Halloween event so far. I'm not sure if there's more. I'm sure there probably is, but it's the first one I've come across. Um, I'm really enjoying the Halloween stuff so far. Lots of cool stuff. Um, a lot of it's kind of hard to get. A lot of cool like weapon skins and a few clothing skins, but they're all really really basically uh, um, chance that you'll get it <laughs> I mean that's just how it is um, you can get them through black lion chests or mad king chests or you can try to buy them off the black lion trading company for like 50 gold if you want the great sword skin which seems to be the most expensive one and you can see I got a little further this time now this run right here is going to be basically a full run of it so this is how you're going to kind of want to do this jumping puzzle. This right here is basically my main run. As you see, you stay here, wait for the stuff to pop up. There is one part further on in the jumping puzzle that confused more, me for a while. I kept getting to it and then kind of just not knowing what to do and then dying because the acid stuff caught up with me. But I'll show you guys right here how to do it. It's really simple once you kind of just... Use your head and look around. Once you get about in here, you've pretty much lost everybody else. You might have one or two stragglers with you. So it makes it, I mean, this part's more difficult, but it makes it a little easier just because there's no one blocking your way or anything. Alright, this right here, I got lost at a few times, but you do want to jump down there to this fake ch treasure chest. But it does open up the rest of the path to get up. If you didn't complete the first half of this puzzle fast enough, you're going to be dealing with a lot of acid coming up right there when you jump down. So it's better to get a good head start on it. And this is just a fail. I got all the way to the end and failed right there. So I, I just skipped ahead to where I got back up. And this is the end right on that the steps I f fell off. Um, you want to wait till the lightning strikes the clock right there. And then you just jump in. And yeah, that's it. You get the uh, the achievement. You get the chest. You do get some boots. Level 80 boots. And this character is only like level 40, I think. 39. So they don't really do good for her. And they are soul bound. Which kind of sucks. But I did run this puzzle again with my level 80 and get him. And they are 
good exotic boots. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, I have uh, several more jumping puzzles recorded. I just need to get them edited together and post them. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll have more videos coming soon.